Okay, so here's a super quick tutorial. Um, this is not part of the regularly scheduled programming, but this is a response to a question over on Reddit. And I thought it was something that would be beneficial to a lot of people. So I thought I would post it here as well. So what we're doing is we're actually creating a daily digest type email that um, we'll send out every day at 6 a.m., that is going to include all of the cards that are due that day. Um, so what we're going to do first, we're, I've set it up so that they're all on one list, but that's not actually necessary. Um, I just did that for myself. So just to actually show that that's not necessary, I'm going to put them on different lists so that we can see that this will work regardless. It does matter that they're on the same board, however. So from here, we're going to go ahead and go into our automations, which is this little button right here. If you're on a smaller screen, you may only see the lightning bolt. Same thing. Okay. So go ahead and click automation. And we're going to go ahead with rules. I know it says email reports here, but this one is if you have, um, if you want to send out a weekly report, you would do that here. Um, it's it, they're like pre set up reports, right? But because we're doing a daily, we're going to do it manually. So we're going to go ahead and click on rules. And the key things here so we want to schedule this report. So we're going to do it based on scheduled. And that's because we want this to go out every day at a specific time. So um, we're going to click create automation. And then we're going to add our trigger. And so because this is a scheduled automation, our trigger is based on the calendar. So every day, you could also switch it to weekdays. So if you don't want this to happen over the weekend, it's just a, a Monday through Friday thing, you could do that as well. But we're gonna do every day and then we're gonna choose our time, which is gonna be 6 a.m. And this is the time that um, our email will go out as well. So we're gonna hit this blue plus sign. And now we've got our trigger every day at 6 a.m. Now here's where it gets slightly more complicated, but actually it's not that bad. So just bear with me. And if you need to just pause, rewind, pause, rewind so that you can get yours set up uh, completely. So we're going to choose in the actions. We're going to go ahead and go with an other action. Okay. And the first thing we need to do is actually create a report. So don't worry about this part. Let leave that as is, but we are going to filter this report. So we're going to click on our little filter funnel and we're going to choose dates. And then you're not going to see something that looks like you have an option for it's due today, but that's because it's just hiding. So just hover over starting, switch to due, and now you have today. You could also switch this and do this by the week, the, you know, this week, next week, this month, next month, all that good stuff. Okay. And then we're going to hit our little blue or our little not blue plus sign. Okay, a little gray plus sign. And then if you want it to be a little bit more organized, if you feel like you're going to have a lot of um, different lists and a lot of tasks coming through, you can group it by list or by due date. But since these are all due today, I would just leave it either not grouped or grouped by list. Now here's where we hit our plus sign because until we do that, see there's still no actions. But when I hit this blue plus sign, now we have our first action, okay? And this is creating the report, but that's only half of what we wanna do because we also want to send an email. So here we would put in our email address. And if you need it to go to two different places and like multiple emails, you can add multiple email addresses. It says it right here, just separate it with a semicolon, okay? And then you can write anything you want for the subject. So all the things to do today. And then in your message, you can say anything you want, but there's one thing that you need to make sure to include. So um, here is everything we need to get done today. But here's the key. You want to make sure that you include this tiny little code. Okay. So um. I will put this in the description so you can just copy paste it, but it's basically just, you know, the fancy bracket dollar report underscore HTML close fancy bracket, 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 close fancy bracket. Okay. That part is incredibly important because if you don't include that, 
you're just going to get a lovely email that says, here's what you got to do today. <laughs> That's not going to be real helpful. So, um, so make sure you include that. And then from here, we're going to hit that little blue plus sign again. And you can see all this stuff just got added. And that's all we need to add here. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. And we're going to get our exciting confetti that says it's all done. But we want to test this, right? And we don't want to wait for tomorrow because I'm going to forget. If I need the reminder, I'm going to forget that I needed to test. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to test this right now. And something I had shown in a different video, um, which I will link above, but I'm going to show you again right now, really, is um, how you can test a scheduled automation right now. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the automation we just created. You can see there's already one here because I was testing this before I did it live. It's always good to test. But once you're here, you're going to see this little uh, rocket ship, I guess it is. You're going to hit run now. And you saw Butler's running in the in the background. And you can see it ran the automation. So now I'm going to come over to my email and I'm going to refresh. And here is our email. I just need to pull up all the images. So now you can see the different tasks. They were in different lists. Okay. So you can see the name of the list that it was on, as well as on this particular card, I assigned it to myself. So you can see the assignee. Make sense? Super simple. Easy peasy. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments.